Let me start with uh, the game last night on NBC. And as we were going to halftime of the game with the Colts and the Texans, Bob Costas says during the commercial break, get a camera down on the field. Get a camera down on the field. Now, I'm only hearing Bob. I'm not seeing Bob. So we're in the commercial break. Bob is ready to uh, give the score and then send it up to us, and then I'll send it back to Bob and Hines as they recap the first half. I don't know who's down. I don't have a camera. I don't have a monitor that's on the field at the time. And at halftime, we normally don't show anything. The camera will be on Bob and Hines up in the booth. And, uh, you know, Tony and Rodney and myself will recap uh, week nine, you know, the highlights. So I hear Bob say, get a camera down on the field. Get a camera down on the field. Can we get somebody to get a camera on the field? Somebody's down. I'm thinking it's Chuck Pagano with his health issues, the Colts head coach. And all of a sudden, I'm saying to my producer, Sam Flood, who is down on the field? Who is down? Now, he's in communication with Bob. And Sam says, uh, Sam Flood says, uh, it's, it's Gary Kubiak. And all of a sudden, I say to you know, Tony and Rodney, okay, we, we got to be prepared to maybe talk about this. Now, Bob, it says, get a camera down there. Michelle Tafoya, I can see, in-house monitor. So this is not something you're seeing on TV. Michelle is racing over, and they're shielding her as you got about 10 people around Gary Kubiak. So Bob is trying to set it up as best he can. We never speculate. Never speculate on an injury, certainly not something, an illness, if somebody has collapsed, what it could be. So people I know uh, were uh, criticizing us. We didn't stay on that shot or didn't stay on that topic during halftime. We, we wanted to make sure we got it right the first time. We're gathering information. And God forbid something tragic happens that Gary Kubiak dies. I mean, you got to think of the worst case scenario and then work your way back. Do it right. Do it right the first time. And I give credit to Bob, who was great. Uh, Michelle trying to get information and even the people in the truck, because you're seeing this. You're not sure what you're seeing. You got a man who is maybe fighting for air. He's grimacing. He can't open his eyes. And then he finally sits up and then he has to go back down on the ground. So there's a lot of things going on in this span of about 35 seconds. So Bob throwing it to us, gave him time to set it up a little better, get to Michelle so she could be in front of a camera so we could get an update as best we could. But you know, most of the time at halftime, the broadcasters, Al and Chris, Michelle, that's their break. That's the only time they get off during the game. Two-minute bathroom break. The guys who are on camera, everybody out at the site, it's their chance to take a break. We have it for two and a half minutes in New York, and then we send it back out there for Bob to recap the first half. But that's what happened last night. In case anybody wants to know why we didn't stay out there, we didn't want to stay out there and speculate. And we wanted to make sure we got information. And we were fair to Gary Kubiak and his family because that, was, that could have been tragic at the time. Now, we don't know what has happened with Gary. We're going to keep an update on that. But it's live TV. And, uh, you know, if you want to bang us for, you know, coming off that shot and going to uh, New York, go ahead. But that's what happens in the moment. And you want to get it right the first time. There's no do-overs there with something like that. And you got somebody's life who could be hanging in the balance. And that's why we decided to do what we did. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.